Hey guys, Adam here. What I have for you today is a speed comparison between the Apple iPad on the left versus the brand new iPod Touch 4th generation on the right. We're going to be taking a look at the web browser speed and some application speeds. So we're going to first off go into Safari and take a look at the speeds of loading different web pages on the respective devices. Let me note that multitasking is cleared on the iPod Touch so that will not be in the way of any applications. Next, I want to note that this is running 3.2.2, not 4.0, because, of course, the iPad version of 4.0 is not out yet. And with 4.0, there is extra speed, and so the iPod Touch, of course, does have iOS 4.1, which will possibly make it faster in the operating system in general. But, you know, I have not completed this test yet, so I'm as curious as you are to see which device is faster, because these both have the same Apple A4 processor, and they both have 256 megabytes of RAM. But anyways, let me first go into Safari and we'll take a look at the speeds here. So, let's back out and we'll first be loading YouTube.com. And let's go. There, It's queued on both devices. There we go. And it looks like the iPad is a little bit ahead of the iPod Touch and did load about a second quicker. Next up, let's go ahead and load my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash techtechmantv. And we'll take a look at the speeds there as well. And they're off. And it looks like the iPod Touch is a little bit ahead of the iPad. And is even done before the iPad even started to load the content on the web page. But the iPad was, of course, not too far behind. Well, next off, take a look at Engadget.com, where there's a bunch of different content, pictures, and uh, videos, plus a lot of text. So here we go. It's queued on both devices, and they're off. Looks like the iPod Touch is a little bit behind the iPad at the moment. Let's see which one does go ahead and finish first. And the iPod Touch did actually beat the iPad in loading Engadget.com, and the iPad is still loading the web page and is done. So next up, let's go ahead and load Apple.com on both devices. So I have Apple.com queued here, and let's go. And it looks like the iPad is ahead and is done, and the iPod Touch is done about a split second later. So there we go, that was the speed comparison on the web page. In general, I did notice that the iPad has been a little bit quicker on loading web pages. We're going to now take a look at some application speeds. We're going to mainly be taking a look at the iPhone apps on both devices because, of course, all the iPad standard apps like Calendar and Contacts and Notes, they're customized to fit on the iPad and they're not the same applications. So I thought it was just fair to load iPhone apps on both. Um, so first off, we do have the iCopter application. We're going to be loading it on both devices and seeing if there's any speed difference. Then we're going to be taking a look at Field Runners. So there we go. Really about the same speed there. Of course, that's the iPhone version loading on the iPad, like I said. Next up, let's take a look at Field Runners on both devices. As you can see here, this is the iPhone version. That's the iPad. We're going to be loading the iPhone. And it looks like the iPad did beat the iPod Touch once again. And finally, we're going to be loading Blue Block Lite on both devices. I do have it queued here, and let's go. And there we go. It did load a, about a split second before on the iPad. And in general, you know, the iPad has been a little bit of a faster device. You know, really not by too much. Like I said, they do run the same processor. They have the same amount of RAM. And so one more thing I did want to test is the load up times of some of the first party applications. Like I said, these are way different applications, but you know, I'm just curious as well to see which ones do load better on their devices. So first up, let's go into calendar on both devices. And it looks like the iPod touch was a little bit quicker there. There's a little bit more content on the iPad's end, so maybe that's why. Uh, next up, let's go ahead and take a look at the photos application and finally let's take a look at the app store and they're off 
it looks like the iPod Touch did go ahead and beat the iPad in loading the App Store. But there we go, guys. That was my comparison between the iPad and the iPod Touch 4th generation speed-wise. You know, I was really curious to see the results of this test because the specs of these devices are basically the same. They have the same processor and the same amount of RAM. But there we go guys, that was my speed comparison between the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPad. If you have any further questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching. <laughs>